Alright you guys, welcome back to This Is Your Life and I am Queen Fonse and today is October 19th, 2022 and it is day 21 you guys. I'm going to be doing a general reading for the sign of Taurus. Okay, let's get started. Let me start off with these. Just to set the mold for the reading. Yeah. All right, universe. Can I get one call for Taurus for this general reading? Uh oh, here we go. All right, that one was quick. All right, it says, at times our own light goes out and is rekindled by a spark from another person. Each of us has cause to think with deep gratitude of those we have enlightened the flames within us. Okay. All right, Taurus. I think that's pretty cool. All right. Let's use this deck for Taurus regarding general information. Okay, universe, can we get a couple of cards for Taurus regarding general information? Universe, can we please get some cards for Taurus? Oh, shit. That's one. Okay. Um, universe, can we get another couple cards for Taurus regarding general information? Hmm. That wanted to come out the page of Pentacles. It wanted to, but it just didn't quite get there. Universe, can I get a couple of more cards for Taurus regarding general information? Universe, can I get a couple of more cards for Taurus? Earth sign regarding general information. No, no, I need more than. All right, well, thank you. As I was going to say, one car just wasn't going to get it. Okay, at the uh, bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles for you, Taurus. And then we got a gang of cards that um, came out. I don't really know how to do this one, but I'm guessing it's going to be this way. Okay, so the the first card that came out was the Knight of Wands, and we could see that when that one flew out right away. But then we have the Lovers, which we couldn't see, and we have Death for you, Taurus, and we have the Queen of Wands, and then we also have the Will of Fortune. Okay, and like I said at the bottom of the deck, Taurus, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. 
So we have one, two, three um, Taurus. We have three major arcanas, with that being the lovers and death. And then we have in the will of fortune. Hmm. Okay. Well, it kind of seems like that first card coming off explains this a little bit. This one right here, this card. For you, Taurus. It was the first one that popped out. And it says, at times our own light goes out and is rekindled by a spark from another person. Each of us has cause to think with deep gratitude gratitude of those who have light the flames within us so what i'm thinking taurus is it's possible that there was a situation going on that you had been going with with this knight and this lovers and it's possible that the relationship whether you wanted it or not it came to an end with this death card being here but what I'm thinking is Taurus I'm thinking what it's saying is even though you may feel as if the light has went out for you, possibly, well, maybe regarding love, it's not true. And you may have to remember the person who has has lit the light for you once before, maybe in your past, or this could be a person coming into your future. So it's kind of like Taurus, regardless of this situation is here, right? Going this way. Yeah, it came. It was a relationship that came to an end. But your light is not out. It's not out. And even though you may feel that way, just know there is somebody in your life or there will be somebody coming into your life who will reunite that fire in you, okay? And especially with this Wheel of Fortune being next, especially and then you got this seven of pentacles that's earth okay and then i don't read reversals in this particular deck you have the two of cups okay so yeah it's possible it's definitely possible something came to an end in the relationship this death card relationship right here because we have the lovers. <laughs> and then the Knight of Wands always reminds me of someone coming. So yeah, the relationship came to an end. Taurus. But just know, just because it came to an end, it doesn't mean that it's over for you in the love department. Somebody going to come back and make you feel... Like you done won the jackpot. Will of fortune. Gonna make you feel real good inside. And you're gonna start to get back to your old self. And start growing things again. For you. Oh yeah. You see. It's a pot right here. It's a plant and she got a, a, a can. Yeah. Things are gonna start growing for you. Uh, Taurus. Don't worry about it. You got the two of cups. Let's see what these cards have to say, if anything, regarding this spread for uh, Taurus. Can I get, um, damn it, <laughs> that, that king of cups wanted to come out. I should have let it. 
Just know that King of Cups wasn't come out for you, Taurus. Um, can I get some clarification regarding this spread for Taurus? This earth side. Can I please get a little clarification for Taurus moving forward? Universe. There go that goddamn King of Cups again. I should have let it. I should have. Can I get a little bit more clarification for Taurus regarding this spread? Can I get another card or two for Taurus regarding this spread? Oh, shit. Mm, okay, way over there. Anything else for Taurus regarding this spread? Anything else? Anything else for Taurus? All right, I'm going to put these cards away. Uh oh. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor. And what flew way over here on this side was the Five of Swords. It says conflict, disagreement, defeat, winning at all costs, sneakiness, bullies, theft. Abusive relationship. Aw. Yeah. It's possible, Taurus, you were in a, a relationship. That probably wasn't the best. It probably wasn't the best and it had to come to an end. Could have been disagreements, like he said. Conflict. Just, uh, it says abusive relationship. Like, yeah. That's why Taurus, it had to come to an end. That's definitely the clarification I needed regarding this relationship. It wasn't, it wasn't for you. It wasn't for you, um, Taurus. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Taurus, we have uh, the Nine of Swords. We have the Nine of Swords. Yeah, it needed to come to an end because you were possibly having anxiety and depression, despair. It was definitely a dark time for you, Taurus, in this relationship. It wasn't for you. Ah, shit. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus, uh, the moon. And I can't, I can't tell if it was upright or reversed or whatever but you have the moon card which is another um major so it was just a lot of it was just a lot of things going on Taurus in this relationship that wasn't good for you but like it said at times at times our own light goes goes out and with this moon, we know that's nighttime, that's darkness, you know, and that's more clarification. Yeah, you know, with this moon being here, your light probably had been going out. Ain't no profit to it. Looking back at all this shit, yeah, it's a messed up relationship. But don't worry about it. Like I said, you're going to have somebody come in, Taurus, that's going to be just right for you. Just, just, just be patient. And then you have uh, the emperor, Taurus, and it says respect, leadership, stability, structure, rules, and power, authority, father figure, protection, control, discipline, focus, and practical, practically, practicality. So, yeah, everything gonna be all right because it had been kind of not all right for a minute. <laughs> All right, let's get ready and close out this for you. Taurus with one oracle card. All 
All right, universe. Can we get just one card for Taurus regarding this spread? Can we get just one card for Taurus regarding this spread? Oh, shit. Might as well let the other one fall. At the bottom of the deck, Taurus, we have new beginnings, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have new beginnings. And I asked for one card, and obviously three fell out. And you got ten. Taurus, it says destiny. And then you have nine. Taurus, and it says material harvest. And then you have two, movement, choices, and decisions. And I agree. All these cards you needed, they were for you, Taurus. All right. All right, so, Taurus, this is your life. And I am Queen Vance, and I'm out. Day 21.